On this episode, we get ready for Christmas again. All right, guys, so we're back today for part two of our three part series of the six tips for preparing your home for the Christmas holidays. So last week we talked about maintaining your backyard and also pest control. So there'll be a link around here somewhere. Go back and check out that last video, part one. Today we're gonna cover the topics of checking your appliances and getting your home ready for the hot days. All right, so checking your appliances. Now, your fridge, first of all, you really wanna check the temperature. You want to make sure you're on the summer settings because you may have been on the winter settings. So coming into the hotter months, you're going to be using your fridge a lot more because a lot more partying, um, there's a lot more things happening. Hopefully you have a lot more friends coming over. So check your fridge, flick it onto the summer setting and it will hopefully help you out. Um, your oven. So hopefully once again, you're going to be having a lot more people coming over. So check your oven, give it a good clean because um, if you're going to be using things a lot, a lot more, then you want to make sure they don't break down on you the last minute. The fans. Now, this is actually a funny one because uh, when we were writing this, uh, I can actually imagine this actually happened. So your fans, right? You wanna check that if you haven't used your fans for a little bit, there's not full of dust on the top of your fans. Now, I know you probably have really clean homes, but you can imagine, just picture it now, stop and think. Really, really dusty fans. Someone goes and turns them on, dust goes everywhere. It's actually a pretty funny thought. So yeah, give your um, top of your fans a bit of a once over. So when you do turn them on, there's not dust going uh, around the whole room for your kids to uh, choke on. Most importantly, hopefully you do have air con, is, is your air conditioning. You wanna make sure the filters are clean. Now, um, you probably will still be using your air con during the, the warmer months, but maybe not as much, sorry, during the winter months, but maybe you're gonna be using it a lot more in the hotter months. So get up there, find where your filter is, take it down, give it a really good clean, um, maybe head over and check out your, uh, your motor. Now, it might be a good idea, um, you know, if you may have an older motor, Maybe just get the air conditioning guys in to just come and have a give it a give it a once over before it gets too uh, hot because during summer um, it's the aircon guys the busiest time because everyone's using their aircon a lot and they do break down and things can happen so the last thing you want to be uh, stuck with is a broken down air conditioning in the middle of a thirty to forty degree heat day in the middle of summer with the kids home so. Guys, get your air conditioning checked and ready to go. Because you really wanna make sure it all runs smoothly. All right, now next thing is gonna be getting your home ready for a hot day. Now we know the hot days are coming, it's just a fact. So what can we do to get our homes ready for the hot days? So the first thing is when a hot day comes, you really wanna keep your blinds closed. If you keep them all closed and you're gonna keep as much sun as you can outside of the home, and this is gonna help when you start cooling uh, your home with air cons or all fans like that. Um, also another idea is to turn your air conditioner on nice and early um, and just keep it a nice steady temperature throughout the day. Um, even if you may not be home, there are settings on your air cons that you can actually have it set to one temperature and it will turn your air conditioner on and off. So it'll get you to that temperature, it'll slow you back down, it'll keep going on to keep it at one set temperature. It may be a bit better of an idea than coming home in the afternoon to your house stinking hot, you put the air conditioner on, you crank it really, really, really cold and try and cool it down as quick as possible. So that might be an idea. Or you can even use the timer function and have it set on um, a few hours before you get home. Uh, maybe let it go a little bit through the night. Timer on, timer off is also a good function to use uh, with your air con. Um, also too, you wanna check all the gaps under your doors. Now, a lot of the front doors should already have this on. Check your laundry door and check all the other doors around the house to make sure that anything on the external doors, it saves the hot wind coming through. So just check all the gaps around your door. You get those little sock snakes that you can actually put underneath your doors. And lastly, we got take advantage of uh, the breeze at night. Now, um, this is something that, you know, if you don't wanna use your air conditioning, you do have the option of opening up a window and letting the breeze come in at night. This is more of a, a personal scenario. I can actually give you my personal opinion that I don't like a breeze, I prefer the air con. But if you ask my wife, she'll tell you the complete opposite. She loves to turn the air conditioner off, open the windows and let the breeze come in. So 
I'll let you guys work out that one. Um, she does win. She does win. The aircon goes off and the windows are open. So see what happens with that one. All right, guys. So today we covered checking your appliances and getting your home ready for the hot day. Actually, that's it. I thought I missed something. Actually, no, I didn't. So if you have anything that you wanted to add to this or you think that anyone will uh, need to, in regards to checking your appliances, actually just add into that as well too. You know, you can get uh, the electricians in to check all your appliances um, and getting your home ready for the hot days. Um, then please, actually, you know what? I just thought of one. The hot days, pets. You really wanna get things ready for your pets. Now, I know a lot of you may have pets out there. Actually, one of our girls here, Amy, she's got a beautiful dog. Um, now, I know when the hot days are here, she gets a big bath ready. Um, it's not a bath, it's like probably one of those shells you can buy down from Bunnings or something, fills it up with water. So this is another good idea too. So it's not only getting yourself ready for the hot days, but if you have any pets, make sure they're ready and prepped for the day. All right guys, in the comments below, I'd love to know what you loved mostly about this. If you know anyone who could benefit from watching this video, please tag them. All right guys, thanks for joining me. See you next week, bye for now.